Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. You are indeed the best option I have ever picked in my life. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for your faithfulness upon my home, upon my and worship him this morning. Adore him, adore him, adore him. Give him all the praise this morning. Say, Lord, I worship you. I worship you. Everything within me worship you. I have come in the garden of your people to worship you this morning. Lord, accept my thanks, accept my praises, Lord. Lord, accept me, accept my worship this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' most precious name, I will give him thanks. Someone is thinking about the situation he's passing through and he's finding it difficult to worship God. You're thinking in your heart, you're thinking, ah, yes, I'm thanking God, but I'm just thanking God. Uh, I'm just thanking God. But I want to tell you the Lord is still faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Can you just go ahead and worship him with an understanding of whatsoever he has done for you in the past? No matter how small you have seen him before, no matter how, how much, how little you think you've, you've obtained his favor before, can you just thank him for that situation? I hear the Lord saying he's going to do much more for you. He said he's going, you are going to recover. This is the month we are. He said you shall recover all. Can you just go ahead and just worship him? That little thing you think you can just worship him for, can you just go ahead and worship him? That you are alive, it's not because of anything. It's because he is faithful. When there is life, there is hope. Can you just go ahead and worship him? Lord, thank you because I'm still alive. Thank you because there is still a bright future ahead of me. Forget about what you're passing through at the moment. Just worship him because you are still living. The Bible says, he that is joined with the living, there is hope. Because it is, there is hope for a living dog than a dead lion. Can you just go ahead and worship God this morning? Adore him. Say thank you. 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 Lord, I've come to say thank you this morning. Be lifted and be exalted. Be exalted in the praise of your people this morning. For in Jesus' most precious name have we given thanks. Our righteous Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for another wonderful time to gather in your presence. Thank you for your faithfulness upon each and everyone here and those that are joining also online. Lord, we thank you for each family of this wonderful family. We come to say thank you. Accept our thanks and our praises in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for how faithful you are to us. Thank you because you have been dealing with us at every phases of our lives. We come to say, be exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is, our, this is our belief in you. According to the book of John, first, uh, John chapter 1, from verse 50 and 51, he was making us understand that there shall be open heaven. He said, you believed because I have told you, you hid under the fig tree. But much more you are going to see because you are going to see heaven open. Lord, for everyone that is here to, this morning, that Lord, you will cause our heavens to open. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you will cause our heavens to open. In the name of Jesus, as Job recovered all, Lord, we pray that our recovery shall come forth in its due season in the name of Jesus. And the season is now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father, because you've answered our prayers. For in Jesus' most precious name have we prayed. We declare the service open in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' most precious name have we prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. As we continue in today's service, uh, we are going to take our congressional hymn. Uh, the same uh, hymn, lyrics has been sent on our WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp. We can also check for the sake of people that uh, live to short time. Uh, the hymn says, Higher Ground. Hallelujah. Shall we go now, please? Please. Praise God. 
have a plan for you. We don't express it. We don't act, oh, we don't express as if we know that there is a plan of God for us. Pro 
promise of God for your me. Don't be dismayed if it in fear. He's not only a time, but your tongue. He's not only a time, but your tongue. God's plan for you. It must come out of us. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. You're gonna be alright. You'll be alright. It's not only your time, but your time. I will lift up my hands to the heat for I come at my head. My come from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. He said he will not suffer the foot, the foot of him.
begin to appreciate the King of Kings, the one who is alive forevermore. He's the reason we are here today. He's the reason we are alive today. Because he liveth forevermore. We are able to face challenges in our lives. Because he lives forevermore. We are able to face and see tomorrow. Why not say, Father, I thank you for this awesome opportunity you have given unto me to, have, to be alive today. To be a partaker in your blessings today. To be alive today to praise and worship you is an awesome privilege. A lot of persons desire to stand in your presence of God this morning. To worship the most high God. But they don't have that opportunity. But here you are today in his glorious presence. You are well, you are healthy. Everything about it is complete. Why not say, Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be lifted up, Father. Thank you, ancient of days. The uncreated creator, I worship you. Thank you, merciful Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. And so, Heavenly Father, I want to appreciate you for this glorious morning. Thank you for this awesome moment in your presence. Lord, we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, even as we study at thy feet this morning, Holy Spirit, come and help us in the mighty name of Jesus. The perfect interpretation of your word, Father, release unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. This morning, Father, we pray thee, let your word encourage your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word encourage your children in the mighty name of Jesus. As many, O Lord, that are afflicted, O Lord, by the reason of your word this morning, that affliction will come to nothing in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the entrance of your word giveth light. Let your light, let your word lighten our path in the mighty name of Jesus. Unto righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray the Lord, every heart of stone here, Lord, your word, Father, is like a two-edged sword that can put asunder, that can dissect, O oh Lord, Father. Let that heart of flesh be turned to a heart of stone. To a, heart of, a heart of stone be turned to a heart of flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word enter into that heart, O oh Lord, and make it soft in, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. You are happy in the presence of God. Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. Hallelujah. Verse 17 says, And David smoothed them from the twin light, even unto the evening of the next day, and there escaped not a man of them, save 400 young men, which rode upon camels and fled. Verse 18, And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. 19. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. Hallelujah. Verse 20 and the last. And David took all the flocks and the herds which they drove before those other cattle and said, this is David. Amen. And that was what he followed. Amen. And by his grace, David was able to recover all. Now, in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 22, it says, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Brethren, the Lord, whether we like it or not, one way or the other, the devil has taken something away from us. But I stand in the altar of God this morning to proclaim the good news to you. God is sending a message to you that whatever you have lost, by his mercies, by his grace, you will recover all in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. It doesn't matter what the devil says. The word of God standeth what? Sure. 
and God told us, he honored his word more than what? His name. So there is nothing that will come out from the mouth of God that will return back to him void without accomplishing the purpose which he has said, sent it. Amen. So in this journey to recover all, we need God's grace. We need God's leading. We need God's what? Instruction. Without it, we will do what? We will derail. Amen. And we all know what grace means. We all know what grace means. Let me give us an instruction. If you are to climb a 24-story building, amen, you have two options. Either to go with the lift or you go with the elevator. Amen. So if you decide to use the mechanical means, what happens? You are going to struggle. You are going to sweat a lot. Amen. And you are going to rest intermittently to do what? To regain your strength. But if you decide to use the elevator, you don't need to do any work. It takes you up and brings you what? Done successfully. Amen. So that is grace for you. In this situation, we need God's grace to push us up to the next level. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Like our faces are different, so our problems are different. But God assures us one thing. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, he said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. But he give you what? An expected end. Amen. That is the purpose. That is the plan and purpose of God for us. The devil has his, also has his own. Amen. The devil does what? He also has eh, his own. John chapter 10 verse 10a. He said, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to do what? To destroy. Amen. So that is what the devil has come to do to attack that expected end that God has promised us. And how does, this do, how does he do that? By stealing from us. Amen. But by the grace and power of God this morning, God, we will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. I say we shall prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Now what do we need to know about how to pursue, to overtake, and to recover all? There are some things that we need to know. The first one here is what? The first step that we need to take is what? We should be prepared like the 10 vengeance. The, the, the message will come in different dimensions. And I pray God to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We should be prepared like what? Like the 10 virgins. Now, if you go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 25, verse 2 to 4, we are told about the five, the 10 vengeance, five were wise. And five were what? Foolish. Now, in terms of preparation, the ones that were wise, the words, they took extra oil with them. In addition to the one that they had in their lamps. Okay? Now, the ones that were, 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 were foolish, they did not take any extra oil with them at all. Amen. So when the bridegroom came, what happened? Their lamps were, were burned out, both the wise and the foolish. But the wise have extra oil with them. Brethren, the Lord, preparation is a must for every child of God. Whether we like it or not, it is a must. So if you succeed in life, whether physically or spiritually, depends on how well you have prepared. It depends on how well you have prepared. Amen. In life, we need to get some things done. We need to risk. Risk takers are what their success. Amen. Now I want to take our minds back to the Bible. There are four men in the Bible that are great risk takers. The four leprous men. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 7, verse 4. 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 4. This leprous man, what they did, he said, if we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die. And if we sit still here, we shall what? We shall die also. Now therefore, come, let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall be alive. And if they kill us, we shall be what? Be die. Amen. So they prepared for the worst. For the worst thing to happen, to, they prepared what? For it. That means they took what? A risk in life. And that risk they took in life 
make them to be what? To be successful. I pray for us, whatever we need to do that will take us to the next level in life, in accordance with the word of God, the Holy Spirit will release it unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will release it unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, after we have successfully overtaken our enemies, we need to sustain the race so that our opponent can no longer catch up with us. Amen. So it's not enough for you to say, I have passed. No. We need to do what? To sustain it. We need to sustain it so that we don't go back to where we are coming from before. Amen. So it is natural. And God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So in this journey of life, why we need to sustain it? Because the road is what is not what is not smooth. There are ups and down. There are drags. There are stops. There are moments where we need to do what? To restart in life again. Amen. So that is why we need God's grace to do what? Too much for me. Amen. But God did what? God empowered him. And that meal he took was able to sustain him for 40 days and 40 nights. Elijah was energized. I pray God will give us his strength in the mighty name of Jesus. The strength to go through in the journey of life in the mighty name of Jesus. The strength to fight, to recover all. God will release unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. The number two thing we need to do is the word of God. And according to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says, We wrestle not against flesh. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities and what? Powers. Against the rulers of darkness in this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. So when you want to fight the enemy, you cannot use uh, physical means to do what? To fight a spirit. And that is why we need the word of God. God has so armed us that whatever we need is embedded in his word. And that's what, why the word of God is necessary for every believer. That we should study his word. We should meditate on his word day and night. Whatever we need to fight the enemy is there in the word of God. Amen. And that is why the devil is scared when the word of God is mentioned. Amen. Because Hebrews chapter 4, uh, 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the, of the joints and marrow and a discerner of thoughts and the intent of the word of the heart. That is what the word of God can do. Second Timothy chapter verse 15 it says study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed but rightly dividing the word of eh, truth the devil has taken a lot from us we have been limited in one area or the other in life but it is time to move on it is time to move forward it is time to take whatever that has been accrued to us it is time to take them back and we are going to do that by the grace and power of the living God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Number three thing we need to do is what? By fasting and what? Prayers. Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Matthew 17 21 it says, How be it, this kind going not out, but by prayer and words and fasting. We cannot rule that in our journey in life. We cannot rule that. And God will help us in Jesus' name. We also need faith. We also need what? Faith in this journey of what? Of life. We need faith. Without faith, it is impossible to do what? To please God. We need to trust in the power of God. And the number five thing we need to do is to be what? To be persistent. To be persistent. Now, persistence is also a virtue of Christian and potent weapon against what? The devil. When you are persistent, when you are aggressive. So the kingdom of God does what? It suffers what? Violence. And it's only the violence that can do what? That can take it by force. Brethren in the Lord, 
the age we are today, the era we are today, is not an easy one. But by the grace of God, God has given us the grace to do what? To succeed in whatever areas we find ourselves, whether it is difficult or not. As children of God, he has enabled us, he has empowered us to do what? To succeed in the midst of trials and words and temptations. And that was what Isaac did. He said, even in famine, Isaac does what? He prospered. When men are cast down, we say what? There was, there's a lifting air up. So there is no situation that you are allowed to remain for a long time. We need to pray our way out. We need to stand up and say enough is enough. The devil has taken too much. It is time for him to return whatever he has taken from us. And by his grace, we will recover all in the mighty name of Jesus. By his grace, we shall recover all in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, we are going to rise up. To, we are going to rise up. We are going to take some prayer points here. And by his grace and mercy, he will restore unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of restoration is here this morning. He said to restore all that the enemy has stolen from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Why not just begin to appreciate him? Just begin to appreciate him for his great and mighty works. In your life, in your family, in your business, in your health, just say, Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory. Just appreciate him for all that you've been through. Say, Father, I thank you. Say, Father, I thank you. I know today there will be an end to every of my problems. There will be an end to every of my afflictions. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just begin to talk to God in prayer. His spirit is here. His presence is here. To take charge. To restore. To give you back all that the enemy has stolen from you. He is here. His presence is here. His power is available in the house. His spirit is available in the house this morning. Just begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. When you worship the Lord, his presence will come down to you. His presence will be with you. You will feel his presence. You will feel his glory. You will feel his power. You will feel his anointing. You will feel his grace in your life. Just say, Father, I thank you. Glory be to your holy name, Father. Adoration be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. In the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 6, it says, Now therefore, a, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Brethren, whether we like it or not, the accuser of the brethren goes along with the children of God wherever they are. The Bible says, say the devil goeth about, moving what? To and fro. Looking for what to kill. Looking for what to destroy. By the God of Jesus. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are going to talk to God in prayer. We are going to say, Father, Every power that is taking me 20 steps backward. Let me educate us more. Whenever we want to move forward in life, whenever we want to take a step forward, we see something dragging us backward. I will give us an example. Before, to say praise the Lord is a problem for me. You might not understand. I know where I'm coming from. Because if I do that, I need to, I should have malaria drops waiting for me immediately. Because I will fall ill immediately. This is no joke. That was where the enemy kept me before. But by the grace of God, I was able to come out of it. So brethren, there is no problem, there is no situation in life that God cannot take you out from. There's no one at all. It might be visa issue you might be having here. It might be job issue. It might be marital issue. It might be uh, 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 you desire the fruit of the womb. You, 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 have, you have a goal in life. You have...
plans that are laid up by you. Say, God, this is what I want to achieve. This is what I want to achieve. And you see, you are not getting there. It's as if the future is bleak. It is blank before you. I want to assure you by the power of God this morning that God will make everything bright and beautiful for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will make everything bright and beautiful for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you take a step forward, that step will take you many steps ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus. If there be any power that wants to drag you back and say you will not go forward in life, that power will break today in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why we're going to say, Father, Father, every power that is taking me, that is taking me backward, anytime I want to take a step forward, let that power catch fire today in the mighty name of Jesus. Why not begin to talk to God in prayer? Every power that is taking me backward, you want to move forward in life. You see others moving forward. You want to go. But the power is saying, you cannot leave this position. You cannot leave this position. Jabez cried unto the Lord and said, Father, enlarge my cause. I have cycled in life for a very long time. It is time for me to move forward. It is time for me to leave this circle. If it's time for me to leave this particular environment, oh Father, help me, oh Lord. That was the prayer of Jabez, and God answered him. You are not an exception. You are not. You are not an exception. You are a child of God. You are a child of promise. The Lord enlarged the course of Jabez. He become more prosperous. You are not an exception. Say, Father, any power that is taking me backward, any time I want to take a step forward, let that power be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to say, Father, every spirit of near success syndrome, I know we understand what that means. Amen. I am almost there. I almost got it. Ah, my name was there. My name was there. I saw it, but the name was no longer there. That will come to an end today in the mighty name of Jesus. That will come to an end today in the mighty name of Jesus. We are children of God. We are not children of uh, uh, miss, miss uh, how they call it? They call something like that in uh, uh, safety. I, I've forgotten. But near success what? Syndrome. That will not be our portion. We're going to say, Father... Every spirit of near success syndrome operating in my life, operating in my career, operating in my job, Father, let it catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Why not begin to talk to God in prayer? We must recover all. We must leave no stone unturned. We must recover all. Every hindrance today must come to an end. Every hindrance today must come to an end. Every hindrance today must come to an end. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. It says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, and nailed it to the cross. That is the power of the living God. That is the efficacy in the blood of Jesus Christ. He can do all things. It can do all things. It can do all things. There's nothing impossible for the blood of Jesus to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory, Father. Be that exalted. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The last prayer point, we say, Father, by your mercy, I receive the power and strength to overcome every challenges in life that the enemy has presented before me. Why not say, Father, why not begin to talk to him in prayers? Say, Lord, Father, today, I receive your power. I receive the anointing. I receive the empowerment, oh Lord, to overcome every challenges in life that the enemy has presented before me. It shall not stand. 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 No power of the enemy can succeed your power in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the all-powerful God. You are the almighty God. You are the everlasting Father. 
you are greater, you are mightier, you are stronger in all your ways. Oh Lord, Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Just one more prayer, please. We're going to talk to God in prayer. Now, when the children of Israel left the land of Egypt when they're on their way to the promised land, something happened along the way. Something happened along the way. When they encountered a problem, the people said, Ah, Moses, please, it is better you take us back. Just take us back to where we are coming from. Then we can see food to eat. We can see water to drink. We are comfortable there. I don't know what you brought us at. That will not be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have left Egypt. You have left Egypt. That problem is gone. That problem is gone. Affliction will not arise again the second time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why not say, Father, Father, every power that want to take me back to Egypt, Lord, today, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Why not begin to talk to God in prayer? Every affliction, Lord, it will not arise the second time in my life. It will not arrive the second time in your life. Yeah, I will not go back to Egypt. I will not go back to that problem. I will not go back to that situation. That sickness will not come again. That sickness will not arise again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Just begin to, turn. We go, just begin to talk to him in prayer. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, the mighty God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, Heavenly Father, I want to appreciate you. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Father, for your word that has come unto us this day to encourage us, to empower us. Lord, we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray thee by your mercy, by your grace. Thank you, Father, for restoring all that the enemy has stolen from us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. By your mercy, Father, affliction will not arise again the second time in the mighty name of Jesus. That is your word, and it shall stand in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you will give us beauty for ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever, oh Lord, Father, you destined concerning our lives, oh Lord, Father, it shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. No power can stop it. No power can truncate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, merciful Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's still be standing, please. Praise the living God. While still standing, the Bible says, The husband man shall be the first partaker. The husband man shall be the first partaker. The Lord has used his servant to bless us this morning. We are going to stretch our hand and pray for him. Let's ask God, you know, Lord, restore. In accordance with your word of Joel chapter 2, verse 25, he said, I will restore all that the canker, the palmer, the caterpillars have destroyed over the years. We are going to cry to God and say, Lord, divine restoration in his life. Divine restoration. Anything the enemy have taken in his life. Any delay he has suffered in life. Lord, divine restoration. Open your mouth and declare. Lord, we lift your servant unto your hand, Lord, in accordance with your word, Malitabo Shataya, we declare divine restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we say restore in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is someone blessed today? Can we make a joyful noise to the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. It is time for tithe and offering. Praise the living God.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have been blessed this morning wonderfully, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are leaving this very place with all that the enemy has stolen, shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I recover all. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Uh, quickly, we want to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the very first time. If you are a newcomer in our midst this morning, we want to specially welcome you. Do we have newcomers in the house? If you are worshiping with us for the first time, can you please see your hands all, oh, please? Hallelujah. Can you please be standing? Can you be on your feet, please? I will welcome you. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We are seeing all over you. Worshiping with us for the first time, we want to specially welcome you into our midst. This is the redeemed Christian Church of God, City of Praise, International Parish. We pray that the Almighty God will richly bless you in Jesus' name. Please take note for our first time, as you are very special to us. Please, shortly after the service, we'll be meeting with you. So please don't walk away, just stay behind shortly after service for a quick meeting with you. God bless you. Thank you. For our weekly service program, we have every Friday, we have the children's program that starts from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. via on Zoom. Children, please, let's be reminded. And every Saturday, we meet service from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So we have the Dominion House Free Center. We have adoration, hallelujah, across the whole Abu Dhabi. Praise the Lord. So if you are still not a member of any of the House Free Center, please, you can see our mommy at the front here, and I will get you to be connected to one of the House Free Centers. Praise the Lord. Every month we have our anointing service that come up every Saturday. The first Saturday of every month. So the one of August is coming up on the 6th of August. Anointing and Thanksgiving service in this very hall as well. Praise the Lord. And then for the first Tuesday of every month, we have the, the COP Zona Combined Holy Communion service from 6.30 onward via on Zoom. Praise the Lord. Then... On the first Saturday of every month, we have a night vigil. Night vigil from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., just two hours night vigil as a parish. Praise the Lord. So the one of August also is coming up on the 6th of August, 2022. Praise the Lord. The new believers class have, is already have already started. And if you are still interested to be part of the ongoing New Believers class, please, you can contact or you can see any of the ushers. Praise the Lord. The ushers are the ones at the back. Praise the Lord. We have a special program that is coming up on the 23rd of this month. Let someone shout hallelujah. The youth and the young adult program is coming up on the 23rd of this month. Praise the Lord. And the theme is Yaya for Christ, which is youth and young adult for Christ. 
Hallelujah. And that will be taking place right in this venue. Amen. Uh, uh, the 10 days fasting and prayer program continue till on the 13th of July. Praise the Lord. Amen. And also on the 28th and 20, on the 27th and 28th of August, we have what is known or the Redeemer Men's Fellowship will be having their annual convention. So please, if you are a married man in the house, please be reminded that our week is coming up on the 27th and 28th of August. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, next week, by the special grace of God, we'll be meeting in this very place. And please, let's do well to invite our friends. Let's do well to ensure that if there's a face you have not seen for the past couple of weeks, let's ensure that we reach out to them and ensure that we have them to be part of what God is doing in our midst. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as part of the youth and the young adult program that is coming up on the 23rd, this is the dress code. Praise the Lord. A jean trouser. Hallelujah. And a white top shirt. Whether you're a minister, I mean, everybody, we are still all youth. Hallelujah. If you are not a youth, you are a young adult. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, it's applicable to ministers. It's applicable to everybody. What about for our mommies? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, that is the dress code. Let's ensure that we get a pair of, we'll get our jeans ready and look a little cute for that day. Praise the Lord. We we'll pray that the Almighty God richly bless us in Jesus' name. Let's be on our feet as we share the great. Glory, honor, power, majesty, be unto God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, power, majesty. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us in all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Shalom. Have a great weekend.